Hello, and thank you for joining me for day two of Passion to Profit mini trainings. Today is going to be about clarity. So um, before we dive into what we're doing today, uh, I hope that everyone was able to receive yesterday's training, which was all about mindset. And I am so happy to receive the messages and notes from so many people saying how much that training really shifted something for them. Um, just like I was saying, like a light switch, it just kind of clicked something on for them. And so I'm, I'm so grateful to receive those messages. And so if that has happened for you, I would love to hear uh, how that has helped you in some way. Maybe it's just helped you take one more step closer to what you're doing. So um, uh, another really quick thing is um, that y yesterday there were there was a little bit of um, a glitch with the email list and it's now fixed. So if you are watching this and um, well, if you're watching this, then everything is good on your end. But um, if you happen to see if you're trying to get the full video right now and you're not able to access it then just please make sure to sign up for the email list and you'll be able to access it um and i think that's i think that's everything um that i just wanted to cover before i dove in so okay so today is about clarity and today will be a little bit shorter because um, I won't be sharing my story and everything like that and I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit about me and of course I could go on and on and there's so many facets to my story. Uh, so if you are curious or have any questions about my story and you know if there's some areas that you're like well how did you do this or or tell me more about that I am an open book if you haven't already seen that I'm letting you know right now I'm totally an open book and I would love to share with you anything that you might have a question on. So, um, all right, on to today, clarity. Um, so I wanna share with you first the story about what clarity means to me. So when I first um, became an entrepreneur and was a full-time entrepreneur, it was um, probably about six or seven years ago after I quit the hair salon job and dissolved my business uh, where I was traveling to uh, weddings to do on-site hairstyling for weddings. So anyway, I was full-time doing my, um, my business, and at that point it was mostly built on calligraphy, uh, custom calligraphy design and brand identity for creative businesses like yours. Um, so when I first like kind of, you know, dove in full, full time, I floundered quite a bit um, because I was so used to having structure and having someone tell me I had to be somewhere at a certain time and do these things and, and met, I made this much money. And really, I could just go to work, work, go home and not think about it again until the next day. And um, I've, I, I have a feeling that most of you have had that experience or maybe you're uh, afraid of having that happen to you. And so I want to share with you that it is totally normal for that thing, for that to happen. And here's how I got clear on, um, you know, having, well, getting clear on what it was that I wanted to do, how I wanted to do it, the goals I wanted to achieve, uh, when I was going to work towards them. Um, building routines and habits that helped me to get my, um, to have a flow and to get, you know, the work that I needed done. Um, learning how to communicate with my clients online. I was so used to having face-to-face -face interactions with people. I had to learn how to uh, communicate on a really clear and thoughtful level uh, when I started working online. Um, so I'm going to share with you a little more about that for a second, but um, I just wanted to share that my story when um, I was full time, 
I floundered for a little bit and it probably took me a year to finally get a good structure going, uh, you know, knowing what my goals were, knowing what my vision was, knowing what I was working towards, knowing the routines and habits. Um, and that the year after when I was finally clear and I had all the clarity that I felt like I could possibly have at that moment, it was my most uh, productive, profitable and successful year. Um, and that has everything to do with clarifying all that I wanted to do, how I was going to do it, having specific goals, writing out a vision, creating a vision board. And I also used something that I'll be sure to link in my YouTube comments. Um, I use the chalkboard method from Kathleen Shannon, which is all about, you know, tracking every single thing. Like, so if I had a goal of making $10,000 per month, as soon as I, um, you know, made $2,000, I would, you know, fill it in kind of like uh, when you see those fundraising cardboard, car cardboard boards, that they fill it in as they get closer to their goal. So I had one of those on my chalkboard. I also did many other things that the chalkboard method describes to do. Um, and when I was doing those things, that was my best year ever. And um, it was because I was clear on what I wanted and how I was going to do it. And so one thing that um, I think is really important to know is that clarity comes from action, not thought. Now that is a direct quote from Marie Forleo. I'm sure many of you know who she is. I love her. And um, it's so true. Like you can't just sit here and all of a sudden become clear about something. Clarity comes when you take action upon something. So let's say you do have a bunch of ideas. The only way you're going to get clear on that idea or all of those ideas is to do something about it. So write it down, draw out a mind map, do something, some sort of action in order to get clear on it. Uh, write out your vision, do a vision board, anything like that. So what getting clear looks like is writing out your vision, changing what no longer serves you. It's creating a vision board. It's communicating to others what you want and how you're going to get it. It's saying uh, no or yes. It's knowing your boundaries. It's uh, getting to know your audience, who they are, what they want. Uh, it's creating habits that help you to improve uh, you know, a flow of some sort. Um, and let's see. Um, please uh, don't mind that if I get interrupted, my son is watching a movie and he just ran out to the kitchen. So this is real life. Um, so let's see, identifying exactly uh, how much money you want to earn, which I know is something that maybe not a lot of people like to talk about or don't necessarily want to do because you're so passionate about what you do that it, you don't do it for the money, but, um, you know, ultimately... I, I, that is such an important part of this whole puzzle is that you have to know how much money you want to, you want in order to make it. And so um, I could go on and on. I have a list in front of me that I'm reading off of, um, but those are just ways. So when you think about getting clear, you want to think about an action you can take in order to get clear. And so some things that I do in order to get clear is I go for a walk and I meditate, I journal, I uh, write things down. The creative process when I was painting a ton, um, that helped me a lot when I was grieving uh, after my mom passed away. That really helped me to identify my feelings and um, you know just process them all. So I'm sure all of you artists out there are like shaking your heads. Yes, the creative process helps to get clear on a lot of things. And so you have to move. You have to take action in order to get clear. Um, so a few other things are having conversations. So something that's so helpful is when you can just talk about these things, talk about these ideas that you have with a friend or um, maybe you have an, a friend who's a business owner or maybe, you know, your partner or husband um, and you can talk through these things because that will help you get clear as well 
Um, another thing that I love to do is mind mapping, which uh, that's such a cool process and it really helps get everything out there and then start making sense of everything. So um, let's see, uh, the last thing I want to share with you guys is uh, a takeaway for today. So first, I, I just want you to think about what's one thing that you can do to get clearer on what it is you want and why you want it. Let, let me emphasize that, by the way. You need to know why you're doing what you're doing before you really could do anything else. Okay, so that is that is probably one of the most important things, actually, that I want to emphasize here on clarity is you got to know why you're doing this. And a really great way of knowing why you're doing something is an exercise that Tony Robbins um, on his podcast, he shares an exercise that he does in, in his events, which is to imagine who you were as a young child, like five to 10 years old. Imagine who you were, or I'm sorry, when you were five to 10 years old, who did you want to be? And write that down. And then when you were a teenager, who did you want to be? And write that down. And then when you were in your 20s, who did you want to be? And write that down as well. And now look at the three things and try to find the common thread. And what you'll notice is you will start seeing that somehow, some way, like me, for me, I when I was five to ten years old, I wanted to be an art teacher. When I was a teenager, I wanted to be a hairstylist. And when I was in my 20s, I wanted to create art and teach art. And so obviously you can see the very clear similarities or the, the common thread of wanting to teach art. But also um, the hairstyling, you know, that's that's a little bit of the curveball. But when I broke it down, really what I realized that I wanted to do and why I wanted to do it was because I wanted to help people feel beautiful inside and out and and take action on that beauty and to help them to learn how to do this. And so, you know, I wanted to be that teacher. I wanted to use art and beauty to help people to have their best lives. And so here I am today, and that is absolutely what I'm doing and why I do it, because it is is so important to me um, for a multitude of reasons. Uh, one thing I'll say is uh, my parents, um, you know, were entrepreneurs when I was younger, and their businesses eventually closed or failed. And so the reason why I'm so passionate about helping people to make money is uh, you know, I grew up with such a weird stigma around money and around business. And now that I've learned how to sustain a business and make money with a business, it's so important to me to show people that it is possible and that you can actually have a business that's profitable, sustainable, and meaningful. And another reason too is I just, like I said, I grew up with entrepreneur parents and it was so awesome to have that encouragement and to see them push and focus for what they wanted. Um, and, and lastly, because I have been stuck so many times and I still deal with that victim mode, shifting out of victim mode. And so I'm so passionate about helping people to, you know, shift their mind to that abundant, uh, opportunity, opportunity, um, positive mindset. And so I think you can kind of see those are all my whys, why I do this. So I want you to um, today or, uh, you know, as soon as you can, because the longer you don't do it, the, the least likely you'll do it, um, is think about why you're doing what you're doing and write that down. Do that exercise that I described that, you know, Tony Robbins does. And I also want you to take a moment and imagine what your ideal life looks like. So let's say your ideal day. So imagine what the perfect day would look like. You know, what would happen when you woke up? Who would you be with? Where would you be? What would you be doing? And I want you to write this all down as if it's already happening. It's already here. You know, so I woke up in the morning and I had a bagel or you know, whatever it is. And I was with this person and I was doing this thing. And then, you know, an hour later I was doing this. And so I want you to be super detailed 
and as specific as you can. And what you're doing is you're identifying your vision. And this, I am telling you, is also one of the most important things that you can do. And if you're having trouble figuring out what your why is, you'll figure it out in your vision. Um, and so that is what I want to leave you with today is to focus on your vision and identifying that and, and identifying your why. Because when you know what your vision is and why you want to achieve this vision, you're pretty much golden after that. Um, and just for fun, another thing that you could do is when you have your vision all written, up, written down, again, you want to take action. Don't just imagine it in your head. You need to take action. You need to write it down. An another fun step in this process is to create a vision board. So I, I'm, I know I've shared with you guys on Instagram and at my retreats. Uh, every time I've had a retreat, I talk about vision and vision boards. And even at one of my retreats, we did a vision board. Um, vision boards are so powerful because just like what I was saying yesterday, it's a mindset. So when you're constantly looking at these images every day that you want to, you know, you are beautiful, you are, you know, in nature and you are happy and you are doing these things and they're all in a image setting because I know as artists, we're visual learners. So creating a vision board that you look at every day is so powerful. And so that's another fun thing that you can do today as well. So that is my lesson for today, or my training for today. And I would love to see if you do your vision or your vision board, or if you identify your why, please share on Instagram. Um, and also, uh, feel free to forward this to anybody who you feel might benefit from listening to this video. Um, because the more people that are sharing their gifts with the world, getting clear on what they want to do and why they want to do it, and shifting their mind to an abundant mindset, a positive mindset, a an open mindset, we will all benefit from that gift. So uh, the more you can forward it to people, the better. Um, okay, well, that's it for today. And tomorrow we'll be focusing on, let's see, I think it's honesty. Um, so these are the one of the, the probably the top four core values of my business and businesses and many businesses and yeah tomorrow will be all about honesty so I can't wait to share with you guys about that um, and I hope you guys have a good day and that you've enjoyed today and enjoyed yesterday and please share and uh, on Instagram share and you know with your friends and family or whoever you feel like might need it and just know that I am so grateful and honored that you're here and you've given me this time to share with you uh, what has helped me get to where I am today and what helps me to have the life and the business that I have. So, all right, well, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye-bye.